So yes, now it's time to introduce the first speaker of the evening. His name is Dominic Sepulveda. I hope I said it fine. Your last name, Sepulveda. Fine. <laughs> He's a project leader at Imagination Computer Service. He's responsible for all the Magic Lens projects. He's going to tell you about that. And he will be sharing with us some of his AR projects, along with the advantages and disadvantages of developing an AR game. Welcome, Dominic. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Thank you for introducing me. So I don't have to say that much about me. Uh, my name is Dominic. I work at Magic Lens as project uh, manager and we do augmented reality presentation software. Um, as you can see, I love augmented reality and everything started basically with the Nintendo 3DS in 2011 um, when I got this beautiful piece of hardware and I was checking out um, these cards, which came with every um, Nintendo 3DS. And with these cards, you could have an augmented reality experience. And I thought, wow, that's, that's amazing. Um, how can you do that? And how does it work? And okay, I want to do something like that. And um, I had a chance to, because uh, I come from, from Germany, Frankfurt, and that's near the, the um, university which I uh, um, sent my application and they do an, um, studies called animation and game. And I thought, wow, that's awesome. I'm going to uh, go there, but I don't know anything about programming. So I'm going to yeah, build something up with paper. So basically the uh, things on the left with these islands drawn on, that's the marker. And um, the things on the right, the, the little island thingies that should be the augmented islands okay so and they loved it and I uh, was able to study there for three years and um, in the third semester I had a chance to pitch this idea again but uh, yeah I was a bit more advanced and I produced a little video I have to go out of the presentation and show the video oh, it doesn't work Yep. Full screen. Ah. Not a Mac user, usually. Okay, I'm going to skip a bit. So that's what, what I was imagining and as you can see you have a um, smartphone, so that was the <coughs> technology you had in this time with Vuforia um, and you have these markers on the desk and you can see everything's like augmented and um, what I like about uh, the idea of having just cards there and everything else is augmented it uh, seems like um, yeah you you don't really have to talk to each other but um, this is a <laughs> this is an um, an real-time strategy game like Age of Empires or Starcraft and there you have always this fog of war. So you don't know exactly what the other one is doing until the moment you really meet. So it's all about um, starting on an island, building houses there, and um, developing your, your army to get in touch with your, with your enemy or your friend. Depends on who wins. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. That's, that was just for the pitch. So... That was my pitch, and then play. Yeah, perfect. Then we actually did this project, but uh, kind of different, because there was another one who had uh, also an idea with ships and pirates, and so the uh, the professor thought, oh yeah, that's basically the same, and so we produced a board game as one part of the project and second part was an augmented reality add-on kind of <coughs> and I thought that was really nice it wasn't what I really wanted to do it wasn't a real-time strategy you had your ship 
on a on a map so that's that's water here and there are little things in the way and you have to collect stuff and you um you moved your ship by blowing uh into your phone and moving around your ship so that i thought that was a really cool cool thing we produced there next thing i i worked on as my bachelor project uh, we called that infected so that was that was my dream. I want to do that and I had a team and we did it for a bachelor. And basically the idea was that you have a marker at home at your desk and um, on this marker you could augment a house and zombies are attacking it and you have basically to defend it. So kind of a tower defense. Plus you have to collect resources in the real world. So you go around like in the neighborhood and collect stuff. Okay, and then you go back home and put everything uh, on your desk and build a fence or whatever, or new weapons. So that was the idea. I pitched that like, like that. And um, when we started working on the project, we had two very difficult questions to answer. So what's the added value? And I think always when you do uh, augmented reality something, you have to ask yourself, what's the added value? Can just um, can I just uh, have the game and uh, play it without the marker? So why do I need it for? And the second question was, okay, now should I put the game on the app store and everyone's going to load it down and then print out the markers and um, the markers for um, collecting resources? Should they print it out and glue it somewhere? I think that's illegal. So. We try to answer these questions in our project and we try to answer the first question like what's the added value we had like this this marker you put it on your desk and then you're home but we also had a mode where when you're like uh, somewhere in the train you don't have the marker with you or you don't want to put it somewhere you can still play the game and look at your house and and your progress and so on so you had these two modes, AR and non-AR. In the AR mode, you had this house pro projected on your table and you were able to click on the house. So you weren't able to do this in the non-AR version because in the house you were also able to um, scan another marker which you had hanging on your wall, like this. And there you had a totally different component, it was like more of a, a first person shooter where you had to um, align the zombies and then shoot them down. So we thought that's really cool and you can't really do this uh, feeling of, okay, now I'm home, I'm now going to shoot all the zombies in my, in my yard, okay? So we thought that's the added value and that was really feeling of home, secure, now it's going to I'm going to do the job. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other question, the marker distribution. Uh, for our presentation, we used like markers like like this, so everyone understands. Oh yeah, that's that's the name of the project. That's infected, and you could collect wood on this one because it's uh, yeah, it's basically wood on the um, on the image, but with when you would launch the project, how would you do it? Would everyone just glue it, like I, like I said before? No, we tried to um, use, we also tested this, we tried to use um, things which are already in the real world. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, like these signs, everyone knows them. And if you now look around um, when you go home or tomorrow somewhere in the city, they're everywhere. So distribution, check. Okay, after my bachelor, I started working at Imagination as a developer for augmented reality apps and um, then I just got project manager, kind of, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> and I want to show you um, one of our latest projects, which I think is really cool. Um, <coughs> we work most of the time for industrial companies, so it's even more difficult to tell them what's cool about AR and why they really need it.
and we definitely have a lot of fun creating these applications. Okay, I hope the light is good enough. So that's um, Baden Corporation. Um, it's part of the Scheffler Group. Maybe someone knows it. They produce airplanes and stuff. And that's Magic Lens. That's our product, okay? So, come on. There is enough light in these trees. Oh, yeah. So there's an airplane, and you can also look around the corners and stuff. Oh, and the, the sound is uh, off because... Actually, you hear the airplane. Okay. And uh, on this airplane, we have um, we have like info hotspots where you could click on and then uh, bring parts out, rotate these parts around, have a look at every detail, and even go um, on a deeper level because they they produce uh, these these bearings and they wanted to show every aspect of it. And uh, it's important to to mention all of the parts and, and stuff. Yeah. So that's that's our thing. We do um, augmented reality applications at Imagination, um, and currently we're looking for um, Unity 3D developers with <laughs> C sharp um, knowledge, and also backend developers. And uh, what was the a colleague asked me to, to say that, so <laughs> oh, maybe you just go on our website and there in the um, <laughs> career section you can have a look at everything, okay? So um, yeah, I guess I'm finished now. You can now uh, ask me some questions if you want to. W do you have any specific feedback from this client about whether this is actually helping them to sell from the, the sales guys at trade shows? So I'm going to... Sorry, we just have one. We have to okay. Um, they, on the trade show this week, so I'm going to get feedback <coughs> and I'm really um, happy about it because like 95% of the customers, they love it. And they, um, on our website, we have, we have the, the numbers. So they have three, um, three times more um, deals after they, they use this tool. And um, that's just uh, what we got from the feedback from them. So we gave them a magic lens, so they had to pay for it, but we gave them a magic lens and they used it. And they said, yeah, okay, we had uh, three times more um, 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 contacts, leads, yeah, thanks, leads. And, um, but they d you can't say if it's because of magic lens or because of something else, okay? And in our new version, we want to track everything the user is doing, everything he's looking at. Um, so that after the sales meeting, you could really say if it's because of Magic Lens, is it because of Magic Lens or because uh, the sales guy just uh, said, okay, we cut 50% off and you get it for free. Okay, we want to measure what's happening in the sales meeting and on the fair. Did I answer your question? Okay. So. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Anyone? Okay, I have a last question for you. <laughs> um, what are some possible uses of AR that you think might be great to see, but you haven't seen it yet? I mean, whether it's because the technology is not there yet or because people just can't imagine it yet how to use it. Yeah, I think there are so many cool things you could do with AR. I'm just so not a good programmer to to <coughs> to do it, but I already tried to to um, to try out some things, like um, an augmented uh, CD shelf. So you know you know these these things from the CD shelf where you can place your CD or just type in the name and you can hear to the music. So you can listen to the music. So that's the first step. And you, you know, ah, yeah, okay, I maybe like this music, but I think um, what's really great about loving music and loving a band is when you see them on stage and see them live. So I did a little application with uh, where I had markers, so there were the CD covers, 
and uh, you could scan it and then the band would perform live on the on the CD cover and you would hear the music and you could see the band and it, oh that's awesome I want to have uh, I want to go to the concert and that's better for the band than they are buying the CD um, other things like the the hollow deck I imagine to have a room full of markers in like my home and I have an augmented uh, clock and I have an augma augmented this and I have an augmented that but maybe that's just because I, I love the technology and I love to have things I don't really have. Yes? Yeah. So a uh, bit more a technical question. You, you said you always, um, you always need markers to make augmented reality work. It would be great if you don't didn't need that, right? So uh, how, how do you think this is uh, developing? How, how far are we away to not use, uh, need, need markers at all anymore? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're not that far away. There are a lot of technologies uh, which can basically scan all your room and all your furniture and um, calculate every angle and so on and place place uh, things in the room. So I think that's the next step. Yeah. So here we just have to make it cheap. Everyone has to have it uh, there and yeah. 